What are you doing? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where are you going? What? There's nowhere to go. What are you doing? What is going on right now? Cat butt. That's mine. Whatever you're doing is mine. Yeah. Kitty kitty. Oh, we got a jealous one. We got a jealous one. Kitty, 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 kitty. Oh, you're jealous too. I don't have enough hands. Do it. Oh. Oh. Do the hand thing. That's cheating. Cheating. Yep. Mmm. Yeah, my kitty. I know it's been a hot minute since I have been on YouTube for Vlogmas. Um, I'm still trying to do it, but with working 50 hours a week at times and just living life and trying to just get through every day, 
sometimes YouTube is not number one and you just don't do anything or don't have any time to do anything and that's okay because YouTube is not life or death so I'm updating you on just a couple of things um, you saw the little bit of putting up the lights still have to put the ornaments on the tree and um, now I uh, what else am I doing I did get my nails done these ones are the beautiful side but like what is what is this Hold this on, is let me beautiful show. like this side's fine that happened Glob of paint right there. Like what? She didn't do it right anyways. Like that's gonna rip off. And then like if you look, there's globs of paint on the side right here and right there. But like this has it's like nice and smooth. But this I don't know. Went to the store, um, got some good stuff, got steak that was on sale, got um some uh, sirloin tips that we had yesterday for dinner. I have some leftover. Uh, I have some chicken legs that I'm going to cook uh, in the oven with olive oil and season them very well. Um, just, just some higher fat meats that I haven't been eating and I got some nuts as well, some almonds. Uh, I also just picked up some, some coconut flour and I was surprised. I had no idea about coconut flour um, like the macro wise because I've never used it. For a hundred grams it's 47.7 carbs, but 45 grams of, I mean, 45 grams of fiber. So when you're doing keto, you subtract it. So pretty much only two carbs per whatever you use. And then the protein is 20 for 100 grams. I'm going to be using probably 50 today. I'll see how much that is. Um, and that's going to be 10 grams of protein. The fat is higher, which is fine because that's what I need. So the you get mono unsaturated and poly unsaturated, which is good for you. You get regular saturated but in this case this is natural this saturated fat is good for you so it's 14 grams and I had no idea I'm like what so I'm gonna start baking some stuff with this I think I'm gonna try and make some keto pancakes this morning um, I also and that was only because I know there it could be expensive 275 thank you big lots because also we got some huge thing of coconut oil most of the time would cost 15 20 dollars four dollars and it is non-hydrogenated 100% pure refined uh, coconut oil nothing else in it so and then I just got some baking powder and then a couple of seasonings um, that I needed to restock up on but that's kind of a life update right now I'm gonna try and make some pancakes after I take my shower um, and we'll see how it goes I don't have any syrup um, I know that we're allowed to use syrup because some people say sucralose is okay it just really depends on your body so um, but I might just use like a cream cheese uh, icing or something like that so we'll figure it out and see what I want to whip up and make delicious um, but I will see you guys when I start making the pancakes bye What's up you guys as you all saw that did not work out and looking at all the recipes I think it's because I used the egg whites so anytime I make any coconut flour recipe we are using whole eggs um, I have found out that whole eggs are the structure for coconut flour pancakes and I didn't know that because it's my first time using it so um, what I did is I mixed together some of the quest protein powder and some cream cheese and I made a little um, kind of drizzle out of it and then I just poured that on top of it and kind of ate it. It was still delicious and super, super filling. Coconut flour is super filling. I ate half and then um, I'm about to leave, so I just finished up the other half just because I was getting slightly, just a tiny, hung, you know, bit hungry. I could have waited till I got back, but I figured why not just not worry about eating and food until I get back because I'm about to get these babies fixed these ugly things fixed and then I have to go pick up some shoes I ordered off of Poshmark at the post office so hopefully it's there and then I have to go to Publix because we have some products um, that did not end up home with us but we purchased it and we looked everywhere so I'm gonna talk to them maybe they'll be nice enough to give it back to us because we're thinking that the person who bagged our groceries might have left that one in front of them instead of putting it in the cart so we're gonna talk with Publix they're awesome anyway so I'm pretty sure they'll understand and hopefully we'll be able to get our stuff back so let's go do that 
I'll show you guys um, when these babies are fixed and just take you along with me. Bye. What's up you guys? We are back again. Oh hey look there my tree and the pretty. Okay, but we are um, home. I got my nails done um, and let me go ahead and just fixed it. And they fixed this one, but they didn't fix this one. It's still like a blob on it right there. And the thumb, I'm, it's got a huge blob on, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like this clear blob that's on the edge right here. And I'm pretty picky with my nails. I just, just am, and I wish it wasn't, but certain things like that are just little pet peeves that bother me. Um, but I went there, got the stuff at Publix that I needed. Um, then I went to the post office and waited for like 30 minutes for a waste of time. I'm just trying to get these shoes that I ordered off Poshmark and they weren't there. So we're going to see what happens. <sighs> and then I have to eat this deliciousness that I'm about to show you and I have to go to work tonight. And I get off at 1030. So, okay, let me show you guys my breakfast. Orange, but it's pretty much a breakfast meal. So this behemoth is hopefully going to hold me over until I get home tonight to eat a burger. But it is just two whole eggs, um, some sharp cheddar cheese, some leftover steak from last night, a fresh avocado, and I've never peeled an avocado that beautiful before, some salsa on top, and there's some spinach under there too for some vegetables. And I can't wait to devour So this. I'll just show you tonight what my burger looks like. Of course, no bun, um, unless I can make this one recipe and fit it in my macros for this coconut flour that I have here. So if I can fit that in my macros, I'm going to do it for you guys. But if not, it'll just be a burger probably with ranch and some type of vegetable on the side, but I don't know. So I'm gonna go enjoy this, go to work, and I'll see you guys when I get home, possibly. Bye. What's up, you guys? <clears throat> so last night for dinner, I did make a mug cake out of the coconut flour, but I ate it. It wasn't the best thing. I need to um, get some sucralose or Splenda um, sugar-free syrup so I can use that to sweeten it because I don't want to overdo the erythritol and stevia, like, you know, the little trivia packets. Um, so I only used two, but it's not sweet enough to make it like a dessert. I did put half a tablespoon of peanut butter on there and I put some uh, of the cool or the ready whip, the whipped cream. Um, and it still tasted pretty decent, but I need to just practice and find different things to use um, with the coconut flour and just have fun with it. I want to try and make some keto cookies out of it. So, um, But all I have this morning because I did get back from the gym, showered, and I did, um, I did back today and added some cardio in. I'm still at 138.6. I've been hitting that every single day um, consistently. So I'm just going to try and keep pushing through at the end of the week, see where we lay at. Um, and then we'll make adjustments when needed. But all I have is, like you saw yesterday, it's an omelet with spinach instead of, I don't know what I did yesterday. I might have, no, I put that steak in there. Oh yeah, darn it, I could've used that, but it's okay. I used my um, just sausage, uh, what is it? Jimmy Dean sausage that's in here. I used half a slice of cheese because later I'm gonna use the other half in a salad. And I have half an avocado, some salsa, and spinach in here as well, just seasoned um, with like some Mexican blend of like cumin and salt, pepper, chili powder. Um, and I have my coffee over there. So I just wanted to end the vlog. I know it's nothing super, super special, but you saw me put up my Christmas tree. And um, I might put in a couple of clips of some things that I decorated. Um, and it'll basically just be food. So if it's not a super amazing vlog, I'm sorry, but I just wanted to get something out there and just show Show you guys you know some updates and everything um, but that's about it so of course next video I'll plan it a little better and I've just been so busy and working 50 hours this week is gonna be uh, a tough one so there's not much time for anything else and when I do want to relax I want to relax and not worry about blogging so um, but I'm gonna make that Oh, and also another thing that I'm doing is instead of half and half of my coffee, I'm using heavy cream, just one tablespoon, um, and it tastes amazing. So my new go-to, if I didn't already mention it, is an Americano at Starbucks. I use three Splenda, and then I put ask them to put heavy cream in it, Oh, and it's a grande. Oh my god, it's amazing. So that's kind of my new thing that I like getting when I go there. And yeah, so I'm going to end this vlog, and I will see you guys in the next one, and it'll be much better. I'm not sure what it'll be, but it'll be better, so... Bye, you guys. Walking around Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop.